All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Safe Assign um, feature of Blackboard. And this is for um, an English 112 assignment, obviously, um, but any other class will work the same way. So I'm looking at this at uh, preview, student preview mode for the moment, and then I'll be toggling over to the instructor mode to show you the full report. Um, so on the left here, I'm going to go down to the grade book and show you what you'll click on. And you can do this through the original assignment uh, link as well. Either way works just fine. So here's the food assignment. And when I click on it, I can see um, sample paper. And I'll see over here it says my safe assign is 100% over all matching. Uh, when we go to this, the instructor view, you'll see it's really 50%. Um, this was for something that, that I uh, I submitted twice, so it's showing at 100%. So, but it will tell you what your um, what your percentage of matching is. Right? So I have my essay here uh, set up properly. I have a, a short introduction and two sample body paragraphs and a work cited page. Citations came from the articles themselves. I had to clean them up a little bit and capitalize the correct words. Um, in the paper itself, I actually introduced my sources, right? That, that source information came from uh, this author. This paragraph information came from this author, Roxane Gay. And even though it looks like I'm doing a good job, I've really not done a good job of paraphrasing. And that's what we use the report for. So let me get out of this mode and go over to um, the direct submit here. All right. So what your report will look like then, once you click on it, you want to see, wow, why did I do so poorly? Why do I have, as I said here, a 50% um, originality um, problem, right? Why, why is 50% of it not original? Well, sometimes some of the things will come from just uh, the, the Blackboard Safe Assign function. I've scrolled down all the way to the end of the Works Cited page, and you can see it's picked up some of, of that. I don't know why it does that. Um, so sometimes you'll have 20% uh, what seems like you've plagiarized 20% of your paper, and then you look at your actual report, and it highlights the Works Cited. You can ignore that. That's, a fee that's a, something going on with the... Um, safe assign feature that nobody has been able to explain to me yet. So if you have um, which what looks like paraphrasing problems in the Works Cited page, you can ignore that. However, you see that a lot of this is highlighted um, up here in the paper itself, so there's obviously a problem. It'll be color-coded. If you have five, there'll be five different colors, etc. And they're numbered. What Safe Assign is doing in this report is saying both these um, bits of information came from the, uh, some source from Yale Global. This is one of our databases at CP. The second source comes from uh, prospect.org, another article. Don't concern yourself too much about where it says you've gotten this information from. Particularly if you're using web sources, web sources copy each other, so it's difficult to track down where you would have gone originally. The problem is that no matter where I got this source, I obviously didn't paraphrase it well enough or cite it correctly. All right, so I want to know exactly how far off I am from good, um, good paraphrasing. So I'm just going to click on one of these. And what will open up is the suspected entry. This is the one I did, and this is the original. And there's a 99% match. I did not make any effort at all to put this in my own words. Go down to the second one. Same thing, about 99% match. Here's the original. This is what I, this is the original source. This is mine. This is the original source. And again, they're absolutely the same. I did not make any attempt to put this information in my own words. So regardless of the fact that I cited it, I have cited it word from, for word from the original, and that is not acceptable. All right. Let's look at the second one here. Here's the suspected entry. Here's mine. Here's the original. 
there was a 77% matching of words between the two. So mine says, in one episode's opening round, the chefs were given, and I list all these ingredients. The original was written, in one early episode's opening round, the chefs had to work with. Well, you can see I've only changed a couple of words. I've changed had to work with, what to, were given. I took out the early. Um, that's still too close. That's still considered plagiarism. Regardless of the fact that I introduced the author's name and I had it on the work cited page, that's not put into your own words. It's not paraphrased. Therefore, it's considered plagiarism. So this is how you read your safe assigned reports. Always look them over. Uh, we'll talk more about how to paraphrase properly in future. Um, but for now, this is, this is what your report will show to you and let you know that you've got more work to do or that you're doing things just fine.